Hello, I'm Pedro Ramirez. I'm a neurosurgeon at Neurosurgery of Central Florida in Orlando, Florida. We're here to talk about an overlooked cause of low back pain. We're gonna talk about sacroiliac joint disease. The sacroiliac joint transmits the weight of our body into our legs. It's part of the pelvic rim and the sacroiliac joint can be degenerated as any other joint in our body. When I see a patient with chronic low back pain, I always ask the patients about the location of pain. Depending on the patterns of pain, I can start thinking on the tract of sacroiliac joint disease. Most likely the patient will say, Doc, I have a pain that is located in my low back to the side of my spine that radiates to my lower extremity or to my butt cheek and can be localized to the area. And I will, at this point, observe the patient's positioning, walking, standing, the way they stand, leaning their weight to one side. Most of the time these patients are sitting in my office over one side, rotated with one leg straight to avoid putting weight on that sacroiliac joint. We were out fishing and I was out on a boat dock. <clears throat> when we were done, I started walking in. My right leg went through the boat dock and I fell to the ground. The pain I was experiencing after the fall caused me not to be able to sleep, not being able to do any activities with my son that I wanted to do. Really two steps was going to the bed and going to my chair. I was with him when he had the accident and he fell through a dock. After going to, to the ER and him going through some injections, we had hoped and waited six, eight months to see a surgeon that I had worked with and personally knew. Once we seen him, he said that there was nothing he could do for Toby, which was very discouraging. And so we came across Dr. Ramirez. Once I identify a patient with sacroiliac joint disease, I proceed with an examination of the sacroiliac joint. I do a thorough examination and I include the provocative testing of the sacroiliac joint, which are a pattern of maneuvers that we can recreate the sacroiliac joint pain. If we go on that track of having the positive maneuvers, more than three maneuvers with the diagnosis, I will proceed to recommend the patient to have injections to the sacroiliac joint. The injections of the sacroiliac joint has two purposes. One is the diagnosis of the joint disease, and the second part is treating the joint. It's very important to identify the location of the pain with the diagnostic injection. So after I got the injections from Dr. Ramirez, it lasted about two and a half hours. I was a little upset, so I called one to call and let him know that they did not work. He had informed me that that's all he needed to know and he knew that it was my SI joint that was the problem and that was what was causing me pain. And now we just needed to come back in for an appointment so we could figure out how to take care of it. So based on that, I can discuss with the patient the next treatment options. And that could be a second injection to see if a second therapeutic injection works, meaning that relieve the pain for good or if they get injection and the pain comes back, we can talk about different treatment options as the possibility of a radio frequency ablation. The second option is to talk about physical therapy, and then the other treatment component will be the discussion of surgery. He explained to Toby about the three rods that he was going to do. He explained what the SI joint is, explained how long the surgery would take that would be outpatient, so um, we agreed to give with the surgery. We had such hope. He had a plan and his plan worked. When I got introduced to spine surgery and I look at the anatomy and biomechanics of the spine and the pelvis, I always thought of sacroiliac joint as a mechanism of disease for low back pain. Through the years of training and learning in neurosurgery, I had many discussions with specialists of the spine that never thought about sacroiliac joint as a possible cause of pain. In my practice, I integrated sacroiliac joint disease as part of my diagnostic uh, tools for low back pain. So if you are ready to have an evaluation for your sacroiliac joint, don't hesitate to call us and you can call our office and we'll schedule an evaluation immediately.